Hey guys, it's Kevin. When you do the DTF, DTG, sublimation, or laser engraving, what's more important, temperature or time? Actually, the most important thing is your health. You will, you'll be breathing in uh, toxic fumes. Today, I'm going to show you how to install an inexpensive hood fan to uh, redirect those fumes. I'll put a link to the description. Uh, so when you go to Amazon, do not buy those ones with a hood. And uh, those ones with a uh, chimney or uh, yeah, you go with those. Yeah, I got a master in biology, and uh, I was a PhD candidate in, in ecology. And if you study environmental science, you know a term says the solution for pollution is dilution. So your goal is to dilute the film as much as possible. Uh, those hood, they work this way. They suck the air in. When they suck the air in, there's a filter here. So the air will go through the filter. And you want to direct the uh, air out of into some uh, uh, if you have a chimney or you have uh, some way to direct it outside uh, your, your, your house, that's the best. It has a tube going outside. If your house layout, for example, inside apartment, you cannot have uh, all outside access. So you do not install the tube. So the air will blow up and uh, there's a little wind here. The air go out. So at least your air is filtered. It's not concentrated in the working area. Uh, so your air, uh, your film is diluted inside the whole room, and you can just crack open a window. It's better than you doing nothing. So those pretty inexpensive. So it has shortcomings. Yeah, and the one thing I find out is you need this. Uh, you need this kind of mounting, and also I put it in the description. The thing comes in with a package. It isn't good. The wrench is secured by two screws to the wall. You can see because it has two legs here, so the hood is not uh, really uh, on the wall. So there's a gap. I just flip the power cord over. I guess in reality, uh, you have a socket on, on the wall. You can plug the power cord in. And uh, we have uh, two active carbon filters, aluminum tube, and a uh, telescopic chimney. Uh, I found uh, I, I'll, I'll need an old uh, length of the chimney and a bag of uh, useless screw, screws. And also you have a top bracket to secure the, uh, secure the chimney on top of uh, the ceiling. Okay, let's do it. The first thing you want to do is remove those tapes on the fl the, those flappers. And uh, if, you don't do, do, if you do not remove it, uh, the hood will not be open. <laughs> Move those two panels and you can see the motor. Install the carbon filter, one on each side. The plastic side of the filter is towards the engine and the one with uh, fabric is toward the outside. Line up and twist, you will hear a click. The chimney, the maximum size of chimney is about 27 inches tall and uh, uh, the hood from the left side to the first screw is 11 inches. I have those office tile ceilings, so uh, I want to position it so the chimney will be in the middle of a tile. Uh, so this is my first time doing this, so I, I was using those two uh, drywall screws, including the package. I bought three of this, and uh, two of them, uh, eventually the drywall screw just cannot hold, and they, they fall out. And this is why I recommend use another drywall anchor instead of uh, drywall screws in the package. You can see I have uh, four holes on the wall now. I was pissed because the first two two uh, holes didn't uh, first two holes didn't hold. Man, that was my daughter. For, uh, she said there's another shooting at the UV UVA. Uh, what the hell? Anyway, so I already put a drywall anchor in, and uh, I put uh, the really long silver screws in. And then I can just put the hood, the hood on it, and just lift it up. It's really light, and uh, position it and put it on. And now I tighten the screws. I plan to vent it uh, uh, over the ceiling, so I uh, put the tube up and uh, use a pen to draw uh, to draw the out the outline of the tube. 
and uh, I use a razor blade to cut uh, the hole. And then uh, connect the tube. Uh, if I have duct tape or uh, those uh, expandable uh, forms, it's better to seal the, uh, the outside edge of the, the tile. The chimney is secured by the bracket on the top of the ceiling, and it kind of just drop down, and uh, the height is adjustable. Uh, you might notice my hood is white. Actually, I ordered three uh, stainless steel hood. I come in two of them are stainless steel like this, and uh, this one I used for demonstration coming as white. So I guess for like a hundred some dollars, and that's the best they can do. And also notice, uh, even it's stainless steel, their chimney is still white. Anyway, I don't really care. I mean, as long as it works. And this is the second one that uh, the drywall screw fell out. So I ordered uh, the drywall anchor and uh, waiting it to arrive. Okay, I think that's really honest review and uh, and the instruction how to install this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.